Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. In this video, I am trying to troubleshoot this particular problem. So I will log into my Citrix storefront portal. So once I log in, so let me log in as administrator first. So after logging into the Citrix storefront portal, when I try to launch the VDA machine, it doesn't throw any error message at the same time it disappears okay so you see uh, desktops here you see apps here so let me click on uh, virtual desktop okay digital citrix vdi let me click on it so when i click on it so it's trying to load it's trying to launch Okay, so far it is fine. Okay, seems like it is launching. We are almost there. We see the gray. We see the gray screen now. Okay, it disappeared. It disappeared. So let's do one thing. Let's try once again. So it's a strange phenomena. So what could be the issue? So I'm trying to launch the same machine again. Digital Citrix VDI, it's trying to connect. Okay, it's trying to launch. We are almost there. We see the gray color screen once again and it disappears. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's try to launch a published application instead of a published desktop. Let's try to launch an application. Let's try to launch Notepad and see how it goes. Okay, seems like it is uh, trying to load. Yes, it's trying to load. Okay, disappeared, I guess. It did not throw any error message. It just disappeared. Let's do one thing. Let's try to launch calculator. So when we when we when we were trying to launch VDI published desktop, we didn't get any error message. When we are trying to launch applications, let's see whether it is going to throw some error message or not. Okay, it's trying to launch. Okay, okay, it disappeared. Same thing. So it is doing the same thing for desktops and also for applications. Okay, let's try one last time. Let's see. Okay, it says uh, connection established, negotiating capabilities. Let's see how it goes. Okay, interesting. It throws some error message this time. It says the remote session was disconnected because there are no terminal server license servers available to provide a license. Please contact the server administrator. Okay, seems like there is some issue with the license. Okay, let me quickly uh, let me quickly check the status of the uh, licensing service. Okay, so these are the services. These are the services. So if you see the Citrix licensing here, the service is up. Okay, now uh, let's do one thing. Let's go back to storefront. Let me let me try to log in as a different user just to make sure that whether this is a single user issue or multiple users issue. It's always good to try with a different user. Okay, let me log in as John. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, let's try to launch the VDI once again. This time we logged in as John. The user the username is John. Okay, so let's see how we, let's see how it goes. Okay, it says cannot start desktop digital Citrix VDI. Interesting. Let's try it once again. Okay, it's trying to launch this time. Looks good. This will, this will let, okay, it disappeared. So it is doing the same thing for all users. Okay, so this is a multiple users issue. So initially we were getting this terminal, terminal server license issue. Let's check the licensing information. Okay, let's check the status of licenses. Okay, let me log into director. Okay, let me log into director. We'll see what is happening with licenses. Okay, let me log in as administrator. Okay, let me hit login. So the di director is the tool for troubleshooting and monitoring Citrix infrastructure. So, so it is throwing some issue with license. So we'll see what is happening with the license over here. Okay, so we could uh, log in successfully. Okay, you see here user connection failures. We see a lot of connection failures. So these are the you know latest uh, errors that we came across wh while we were trying to launch the video machine. So it is registering all the details here. See uh, client connection failures, machine failures. Okay, now let's do one thing. So if you see here, there is uh, you know there is a there is an issue with the licensing status here. There is an issue with the licensing status. So what is this let me click on this okay there is one uh, there is some issue okay let me quickly close this we see here there is an issue with the licensing status let me click on it okay let me scroll down a little bit all right if you see now Next to the license server, it says all licenses have expired. Okay, if you see here, it says all licenses have expired. All available licenses for this product have expired. Connections will be denied. Connections will be denied. So this is the issue. So, so this is the reason why we were not able to connect to the machines. Okay, we were not able to launch the media machine and applications because the licenses have been expired so so uh, this is the cause of this issue so you know in if you come across these kind of issues in the Citrix environment you know you can troubleshoot like this you can check the director and uh, whenever you know the license whenever the licenses are expired then you we will have issues launching the application the Citrix environment so we need to uh, log into the Citrix portal and we need to renew the license and uh, you know once we get the new license we can renew it and once we renew the license users will be able to launch the published applications and desktops without any issues all right so I really hope you find this information helpful thank you for watching I will catch you in the next video bye bye